So we found chopping up into rectangles and then adding up their area did seem to produce a half. Yeah. But what if we tried to apply the same idea, with exactly the same idea with these rectangles, to the calculation of the hypotenuse of this? Mm. One, one, and how long is the hypotenuse? It would be square root of two. Okay, how do we know that? It's the Pythagorean theorem. From the Pythagorean theorem. But okay. the, so. hmm. the hypotenuse here is a bit different, like on this one. Yeah. Hypotenuse is a little wavy. Yeah, but it does certainly seem that we are approximating the shape better and better, right? Yep. Yep. So with this one, I just I want to just be careful because remember the first rectangle is flat. So we, we can't forget that little piece if we're going to use this to estimate the hypotenuse. Do you see how my piece is shorter than the rectangle? So there's two the little points sticking out. Yeah, there's a point sticking out there and then a point at the top that we can't forget. So how far is it going to be when I go like this? How far have I traveled? So it's going to be a couple, it's going to be... So is this, this length is the same as this length. Yep. Couldn't it be 12 of these marks? Okay. Yeah, 12 works. And then how long is each one of those marks? Well, it's one, wasn't it one fourth we said? Well, that was the picture that I drew, but this one is... That's one over n. Okay, how many, how many n's are there here? There's six n's. Okay. So what's our estimation of the hypotenuse here? So it's two. Two. And where does that two come from? There's a, there's... It's not just from calculating and then dividing. There's another way to see that this length that I walk up these stairs is two. Well, you have, I see, so you have six of these horizontals okay. and six of the verticals. Interesting. So, and they're each worth a sixth. They're each worth a sixth, yeah. So you get 12 of them. So my hypotenuse here is two. This looks like it's a better approximation, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How many of those little things? What's the hypotenuse here? Well, how many of these little squares do we have? Again, don't forget the little zig and the little zag at the end. So, um, well, we have as many verticals as we do horizontals, so I can just count the verticals. So it looks like we have 15 verticals. Okay. And so we'd have 30 of these little notches all together. Alright. So that means that each of those notches is worth... Well, we have 50, we'd have 15 rectangles. Okay. But... Yeah, 15. So... Each of those notches would have to be worth one fifteenth. Okay. So what's our approximation of the hypotenuse? That's still that's still two. Why? Why it wouldn't without calculating, what's in a different way you can see that it's two? Well, you still have the 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 verticals and the horizontals are the same. Yeah. And, and what do each one of those verticals like what do the verticals have to do in total? They have to the verticals have to equal this distance. Yeah. And the That's going to look like the horizontal distance on the camera. So, uh, you're just so the verticals have to equal yeah, this distance. Sorry, you're just sitting to the side. That's fine. So the, the verticals have to get you up, and the horizontals have to get you across. So that's going to be 2. Because of essentially why is it always going to be 2? Because it's, it's doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, so 2. So this one looks like an even better approximation. But right? it's still 2. It's still 2. So. So no matter how we chop up into rectangles... It sort of falls apart for, for trying to find the hypotenuse. Yeah, it's surprising. It worked great. This idea worked great for calculating the area. Yeah. Or at least it seemed to. Right? Yeah. But the exact same idea seems to break if we try to calculate the hypotenuse. But I don't get that then, because you've... You have an infinite amount of these little steps on this triangle. They're just infinitely small. Right. So shouldn't this be two? This should be. This should be two. 
Because you have an infinite amount of the steps, it's like the same thing. Well, what do you th how do you think the pattern goes? Two, 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 two. <laughs> Square root of two. Yeah, like two, 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 and then and then once you get to the infinite step, it suddenly magically becomes a square root of two. No, maybe, maybe it changes gradually. Well, I mean, if you're on step a million, you're still gonna have, you're gonna have a ton of these little wedges, uh -huh. and it's gonna be the same thing. Yeah. Like, if you're on step Google quadrillion quintillion, right. same thing. Or what's an even bigger number? Graham's number. Graham's number. On step Graham's number, it seems or to be two. Graham's number to the Graham's number to the Graham's number to the Graham's number. Yeah. 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 Okay. We can make big numbers. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to show you this. So you do have to be careful, right? So sometimes it doesn't work. Like you have to like say, wait a minute, what's going on here? But let me show you one other situation, even with these same tiles, where we have to be really careful. Okay. Okay.